When we think about innovation in cancer care delivery, or for that matter, innovation going on all across healthcare, we think largely about the possibility of moving care outside of more conventional institutional settings to more what we could call distributed settings. So homes, communities, work sites, et cetera, et cetera. We know that that's happening across a lot of healthcare particularly through telemedicine. The question is how much of that is applicable to the field of cancer care? You think about cancer care and you think, well, that mainly involves laying on of hands. You know, you've got to be in an institution to have surgery done. You've got to be in an institution to have chemo, et cetera. But the question is, what about all the other aspects of cancer care that don't involve those things that are laying on of hands? How much of that can happen outside of institutional settings? And the answer is quite a lot, quite a lot, but it doesn't tend to happen, even though we know that patients would probably be happier when they could uh, be in the community or at home. Uh, we know that there's a lot of need for information that patients need on a regular basis, and they need to be exchanging information with their care providers. What symptoms is, uh, am I having? How am I reacting to my chemotherapy? Um, do I have emotional needs or other social support needs that need to be met to enable me to live my life with cancer? And all of those areas really are applicable now for innovations around telehealth, around telegenetics, telepalliative care. There are many, many applications now that are available today that could be brought into the system really to create a much more patient-focused set of experiences for patients.